Okay, where are we going now? Boom. 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 Ooh, and we are at a uh, corner of the map. Uh, ooh, oh, that's right. Okay, okay. Okay, so <clears throat> according to our information, there are another group of traitors we can deal with instead of the Melnorme. They're called the Druge. So, we are looking for them, and I guess there's something else over here too that we might be able to get. Maybe. Okay, yeah, I think we found the Druge. So they gave us a warning about this druid, but you know, I, I think we could, I think they they are gonna have stuff we need. So we gotta talk to them anyway. Uh, their ships don't look too bad, but let's just maneuver over to their home world as usual, without setting anything off, because I don't like doing that. I like dealing directly with the government instead of stupid ship captains. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, that's right. No, no, no. Okay, we get more ships here. Come on. Uh, maneuver. Uh. Maneuver, maneuver, no, 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 Oh, crap. Yeah, that didn't work well. Hi. Greetings. Oh, dear God. Friend. Uh, greetings. Fellow explorer. E yeah. I am an officer of the Crimson Corporation. Oh. We are the Druze. Hi. We are delighted to make your acquaintance. Well, I am delighted and to meet you, I think. That we can do business together. What's with the chains? Just, just curious. Should your desires be similar, please hurry to our main trading world at Zeta Persai 1. That's where I was trying to go. <laughs> um, More than a culture, Captain. Okay. We are an organization. Oh. The Crimson Corporation. Our corporation seeks only to improve our quality of life. Really? And does so via the dribble down effect. I mean, that works. Until we meet again. Until we meet again. Okay, that was creepy. Maybe I shouldn't deal with you. <laughs> okay. Attention, alien starship. Hi. You have arrived at the central trade world of the Crimson Corporation. Yeah, that's what I heard. Home of the Druze. Cool, hi. Be welcome and take advantage of our excellent deal. We I, know I, I that will. you have Micon Deep Child egg case fragments aboard your vessel. Yes, I do. Would you consider trading them to us for a shiny new Mauler starship? Ooh. We know you possess a Vortex Spawner. In exchange for the simple device, we will give you three Mauler Starships and fill your fuel tanks at no extra charge. Um, I kind of like the Vortex Spawner. Uh... Since this is your first time trading with us, Captain, uh -huh. allow me to explain our standard operating procedures. Okay. We will sell you fuel, ancient artifacts, even our own Mauler starships. Good. All that we ask in return is that you assign some of your crew to serving here at our trade world Wait, on what? a permanent basis. Wait, what, 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 what? Uh, is that kind of like slave trading? Um, yeah. No, 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 Captain. Slaves have no choice in their destiny. No freedom. Uh-huh. We would never accept the permanent assignment of one of your people unless we knew that they had granted you the rights to make such a deal. I don't really have the right to... Uh, uh, the, well, what would you want my crew to do here? I mean... Okay. Excellent. Let us begin. Let's make a purchase. Our inventory presently includes the Rosy Sphere, an ancient precursor artifact of unrivaled beauty and mystery. I probably need that. Yours for the amazing bargain of only 100 crew. The Wait, what? Trident of Wimbley. Not just one, but fully three mystic prongs. Give this artifact 
its awesome capabilities. I don't think I need that. Are you strong enough to master its power? Um, or maybe. Or will it master you? Probably. Cost? 100 crew. Okay, a glowing th rod. What unearthly powers will you gain when you hold this coruscating staff high above your head and scream, Kai Lai Chi Lai! Probably nothing. And it can be yours for only 100 crew. As always, we also have an unlimited supply of exceptionally high performance starship fuel. Oh, that's cool. At a cost of 10 crew for 10 units of fuel. Uh... As well as a freshly assembled Mauler starship, which we will trade for 100 of your crew. It seems like that's the number you like. Um, actually, I kind of want the Rosy Sphere, but, um, I, can I trade it? I think I'm going to trade it for I that. Strive oh my god! Containment vessel. Oh my god, I didn't and mean to do that! I didn't mean to do that! Oh no! Oh no, I want to trade the... Oh god, no! I want to trade the, uh, the, the egg casing for it. Oh god, no! I just traded 100 crew. I just traded 100 crew. Oh no. Oh god. Oh no. I, I didn't mean to do that. Can, we, can I have them back? Oh god. Do you feel that, Captain? Has the warmth already penetrated the skin of your hands? You, what? What? Into your soul. what did I just. Oh no. Well, it soon shall, Captain. Just keep trying. Okay, I, I don't think I need anything else. I, I screwed up. I screwed up. I, 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 made, I made bad. I did bad. I did bad. Oh god. Are you sure? Yes. Yes. As you wish. Yes. Return soon. Captain. No. No, Your I screwed up. Oh, they're going to be so mad at me. They're going to be so mad at me. Oh, God, no. It was an accident, I swear. Uh... Well. Okay. Feel bad. Really bad. Maybe we should go back and get this analyzed, or oh no, oh no. Where am I going? Where am I going? Bo. Wing. Okay. Ugh. I need to go... up. I don't want to go back to Starbase right now. Okay, am I in the corner now? Yes. Okay. So apparently there are two species up here. The Supox, I think they're called. And then the Ootwig. So they might be able to help me with the war. So we are going to go see if we can find them. Aha! I don't know which one this is. Uh, either the Ootwig or the Supox. All right. I think. Wait. I think that's your name. Oh no! They're fast. They're fast. Oh god! Yee! No! No! Don't! Get away! Get away! Oh god. Okay, they have lots of ships. Lots of ships. Lots of ships. Fellow carbon creature, may Hi. your roots always be well watered. I think they are. Um, I am Captain Mark Murray. I am Captain Ala Lala. We come in peace. That's good. I'm glad. Uh, my ship's called Our Horizon. Our starship is called the Tender Shoot. Ah, oh, the Tender Shoot. Uh, we are from the United Federation of Worlds. From Earth. Wait, what? You're from Earth? Wait, what? Oh, yes. We apologize for the confusion. Our home world is also called Earth. Really? Or more properly, Fleck. Which means perfectly good and nutritious dirt. Okay. Earth is pretty close, is it not? I mean, yes. But, um... Uh, could you, yeah. Any other sense of being nearby? We share this region of space with the Ootwig. Ah, oh, the Ootwig, yes. The wearers of masks. 
We have a strong cultural bond with the Utwig. Well, that's good. They have been the foundation around which we have grown our star-bearing culture. Well, that's good. We are not only allies, but we are also friends. Aw, could you put in you good word go for me? You should go meet with them. I think I will. They could use some excitement. You see, they are a little depressed and morose right now. Usually, they are most festive and fun. Well, that's not good. What's causing him such stress? They broke their Ultron. The Ultron? What's Ultron? The Druge. The cruel, sour trading race who sold yeah, the I device them. to the Utwig called the device the Ultron and claimed that it would give the Utwig superpowers. Really? Unfortunately, the Utwig believed the Druge and Oops. bought the Ultron. Whoopsies. However, the device did make the Utwig very happy. Well, that's something. Of course, we didn't tell them what we really thought of the Ultron. That they were vapid fools to buy a piece of junk for a planet's ransom. Wow, really? We went along with the falsehood, and in doing so showed our own stupidity. Oh. Then, one sad day a few years ago, the Utwig Proctor dropped the Ultron during a particularly <laughs> energetic and festive ritual. Oh. Now the Utwig are morose and depressed. They feel they cannot ever achieve greatness because they lost the powers of the Ultron. Aww. They even gave the broken device to us, saying that they couldn't stand the sight of it anymore. We are worried that the Utwig are so depressed that they may use their ultimate weapon. Wait, what? Here, you take the Ultron. Maybe you can do something with it. Oh, okay, I guess, sure. Yeah, what, um, yeah. Thanks. Reminds me, you remind me of Broccoli? <laughs> we thought that if we could get the Ultron working again, it would cheer them up. So, we tried to figure out how to fix the darn thing. And or at guess least not. get some of the flashing bits working again. Uh huh. But for all the Druge's falsehoods, the Ultron is some kind of artifact. And we could not synthesize the necessary replacement parts. Oh, that's not good. Perhaps on your journeys, you will find the elements necessary to repair the Ultron. Ooh. Then you could give it to the Utwig. It's and possible. And maybe they wouldn't be so depressed. Hopefully not. I do have that rosy sphere. Okay, let's go to their main world and talk to them. And then we'll go talk to the Utwig. Come on, we can do it. There we go. Greetings, fellow carbon creature. Hi. May your roots always be well watered. Yours too. Yours too. Um, let's see. Where do you think I can find Perhaps the materials? Perhaps a good place to start would be the Druge, since they were the ones who sold it to the Udwig in the first place. Well, that's pro so, okay. So I probably do have the piece already. Uh, symbiote's interesting. May sunlight water. Yeah, we'll and go. water always fall upon you. Always fall upon you too. Always, my friend. Okay, let's go visit the Utwig and see if they can tell us more information about the Ultron. Because if we can... Okay, there's a Supox. And there's the Utwig. Okay. Okay, so I'm guessing it's right there, their home. Eh, come on, don't run into him again. Eh, there we go. Oh no, oh no. Crap. Oh wait, did the soup box not tell you about me? Because you seem to be... Oh, that's not good. Ah. Uh. I suppose, <laughs> as a courtesy, I should extend an appropriate greeting. On behalf of the Utwig Proctors, I truly hope, for your sake, that your day has been better than ours. Although this really isn't saying that much. Uh, hi. This, I'm Captain Mark, representing the United Federation of Worlds. What good would that do? I mean, why should we? We agonized for hours, wondering if it was a cruel twist of fate 
or simply a serious case of butterfingery. Ah, uh, the lifetimes that have been spent in the pursuit of the elusive answer to this deceptively simple question has driven many of us down the dark road of self-destruction. Oh, I'm sorry. Even as these words strike the ears of any who care to listen, the real question is, does it matter? Um... I cannot say. I wallow in a quandary, unable to determine what better atones for my part of the great sin. Okay. Should I engage in slow and painful self-termination? No, no, Should no, no, no. Should I commit no. myself to a long life of painful self-flagellation? Well... Should I throw myself with enthusiastic verve at the problem of collective annihilation? No, I no, 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 no. I don't think she, Even no. Even now, my mind writhes in anguish of indecision, lest the outcome be inadequate. Yeah, they're kind of depressed. Okay, um, I detect the reason events have not gone well your way. You, you, uh, why don't you start at the beginning? Um, yeah, should I set my gaze upon such a sight? I might suffer sleepless nights for years on end. But it is a symbol of the collective Ootwig's failure. It is our ultimate tragedy. Oh. Why do you flaunt the husk which once was the Ultron? I just thought Can't you want to see it again. See how much we suffer. Well, yes. Is this not enough? No. This I mean, what? Possess this husk of lost destiny. It is the symbol of the ultimate Ludwig anguish. Oh dear God. Do not torment me so. Okay, sorry. I didn't mean to. Okay, I feel bad now. Okay, let's actually go to the planet. Let's see if we can talk to someone less depressed. Hi. Normally, we would not bother to acknowledge your presence, but you find us in a state of moderate depression oh. instead of our normal cycle of self-destructive tendencies. Well, that's that's good. Moderate depression is okay. It's it's okay. Um, yeah, start at the beginning. Uh, all right, I'll try. Okay, but okay. You know, it really doesn't matter. After all, we have a famous bootleg saying. When one loses the reason for existence, one tends to get less motivated. That's true. This goes hand in hand with the painfully appropriate credo, We broke it, so we are paying for it. <laughs> okay. Of course, this isn't really accurate. The situation is so much more hideous. Imagine if you can, holding within your hands the answer. Only to have it taunt you with its former potential. Ah, cruel irony. I'm sorry. The loss of the Ultron grieves us all. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. Um, let's see. Uh, ah, yes, of course, Ultron matter. we grieve. How sad. Besides now, being of no what was it again? <laughs> I find discussion of this matter, well, distasteful. Oh. The Ultron was not the only thing which assures total and complete meaning of life for you and I. Uh -huh. It is universal. I'm sure that you two are aware of this thing, if only in legend. It granted us all limitless power and knowledge. It has been since, well, rendered inoperative. Yeah, that's that's what I heard. Um, because you're bust your your Ultron thing, don't be a bunch of crybabies. Yeah, I shouldn't say that. Um, Sniff, that reminds me of when my <laughs> dog. <laughs> if we could wield the Ultron to resurrect your splib, we would. But I suddenly am overcome with waves of depression. I must retire now to perform rituals of anguish. Aww. Waves of trauma wash across my being even now. I must go. Oh, okay, nice, nice, nice talking to you. I. I guess I should probably fix that, shouldn't I? Yeah, definitely gotta fix it.
and off we go. Okay, let's get all this analyzed. Oh god. They're gonna ask me about the crew. I know they're gonna ask me about my stupid crew mistake. I thought I was trading it for the Micon Egg. I thought I could do that. I didn't know. Okay, fine. I probably shouldn't mention that at all. I'm not gonna mention it. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna mention it. We're not gonna bring it up. Maybe, maybe they won't notice. Maybe they won't notice at all. Okay, okay, get, get your poker face on, everyone. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Commander. I hope the battle fares well, Captain. I yes, have some information I think you should hear. Uh -huh. Captain, I have an unpleasant topic to discuss with you, but this needs to be resolved right away. Uh, There's what? some kind of wild rumor blowing around the star base that you have sold your own crew to the Druge <laughs> as slaves. What? Pretty crazy, what? huh? What? Yeah. Look, Captain, I, I know you would never do anything like that, and I'm no. sorry I even had to mention I, this. I know. But now I can assure everyone that this is just one of those damn fool lies that gets yeah. spread during wartime. Y yeah. Thank you. Thank you for your patience, Captain. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no problem. Can you analyze my science stuff? <clears throat> the analysis reads as follows. Subject, rosy sphere device. Uh -huh. Data, the specimen is five centimeters in diameter, perfectly smooth and composed of a blood red translucent substance. Okay. Tests show that it has atypical ferromagnetic properties, but is utterly non-conductive. Okay. Summary, probably a precursor tool. Function, unknown. Okay. The next entry in the analysis is Subject Ultron device. We put this thing through every test we've got and came up with the same results as if we used a fork. Nothing. Zero. Zip. If this thing ever functioned, which we doubt, it certainly won't now. Age and physical stress have long since robbed it of whatever mystical powers it might have once had. Okay. Summary? In the future, please don't waste our valuable time I... on junk like the so-called Ultron. I... That's the end of our scientist report. He's kind of crabby about the whole thing. Try to avoid getting gruesomely killed, Captain. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. <laughs> He's kind of crabby about the whole crew thing, isn't he? I think he is. I don't think he believed me. I I, I don't think I, he believed me at all. Okay, uh, yeah. I need crew. <clears throat> Not gonna sell them. I just need crew. Did crew get more expensive? I think crew got more expensive. There we go. I'm gonna need some minerals. I, I am getting low on RUs. Okay, so let us go to our vices. Let's put stuff together. Okay, the rosy spear. Um, what about this? Okay. Cool. Um, Aqua Helix. Okay. I'm guessing they're all combining them all, right? <gasps> Perfect Ultron! I fixed it! 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 Okay. Ha! Ah, let's go analyze it now, Mr. Mr. Don't Waste My Time. I can't believe he told me that. Captain, I'm glad you made it back in one piece. Are you really? Okay, can you analyze this? The analysis reads as follows. Subject, Ultron. Data. We have determined that the so-called Ultron is, in fact, the appendages of Dawn, described in the precursor fragment found on Rigel in 2123. Really? In the partially translated precursor text, the device is described as a mental amplifier which focuses mental energies of the holder for the purpose of discrete change. Okay. Unfortunately, human brain emanations do not seem compatible with the Ultron, nor do those of the allied species we have tested. Okay. Summary? Perhaps the Utwig who claimed to understand this device can shed some light on its true function and power. That's the end of our scientist report. Okie dokie. Goodbye, okay. Captain. Okay, we're gonna go with the Utwig now and give them their little toy back and see if they will be our allies. Oh, I got toys. They're gonna be so happy. Whoa, there's a lot more of them now. Okay. Guys. Guys. Oh, God. Okay, well, it's a little busy around here. Eh. I'd rather take this directly to your home world. Uh, uh, down. There we go. Okay, a little quick maneuvering. Uh, 
Well, okay. Maybe you'll do. Just go away. Leave us to ponder our grief. Okay. Um, hey guys, guess what we got? Yes, we got the Ultron. Yeah. Wanna see it? Should I set my gaze upon such a sight? Yes. I might suffer sleepless nights for years on end. No, it, it works. It is a symbol of the collective Ootwig's failure. Look at it. It is our ultimate tragedy. Dummy, look at it. Ah, every divot, every crack on its surface is etched forever in my soul. Oh, God. Remove it from my sight lest I purge my... Hey! That is not the devastated Ultron. No. It is the image of the Ultron before a trick. No. A trick? I fixed it. Oh, I had no idea that any species could sink so low. I didn't. I How fixed it. How dare you try to manipulate me I'm not. with that cheap stage prop. What? Why, it's not even. Hey, wait a second. It looks like... Can it be? Yes! Yes! It is! Yes! A miracle! Yeah, oh, well, you know, happy sure. Day, joyous occasion! You have our eternal thanks, good captain. You're welcome. You will be immortalized as the blessed figure that delivered unto us our future. Darn tootin'. We will revere your very likeness. Let me take the Ultron. All yours. Yes! I feel the link, the knowledge, and the power. The power. It seems that there is much to do. Indeed, it seems that you should proceed to the second moon of the sixth planet of Zeta Hyades and take what you find there. Okay, well. We no longer have need for it. Good. But the Ultron reveals that you will. Thank you. I thank you for your part in the grand scheme. No problem. We now recover that which is ours via destiny and proceed to perform our essential service for the universe. For the universe. But wait! The Ultron throbs and whistles. It throbs? Matters of significance are being relayed to our brains. Throbs? It has been so long since we communicated with the Ultimate in such a manner but slowly, the truth is revealed. Really our throbbing? destiny. We have been directed to join with our Supox allies and attack you. No. No, wait, that's wrong. Sorry. We attack <laughs> your enemies, the Urquan and the Kora. No, that's not right either. What? Oh, okay. We must strike only the black ships. Yes. Only the Kora. Only the Kora. Now, Captain, we must leave to prepare our battle fleets. Wish us luck. Good luck, buddy. That should be helpful. Okay, let's get that planet they told us. And get... Okay. Almost there. Ah! Okay, what was it? Second planet, third moon, or something like that? I don't know. Uh. Eh. The second moon, right? What? Oh crap, the Druge! Hi. Fancy meeting you here. I was about to say the same thing, actually. Uh, justify your presence we, here. We, the appointed representatives of the Crimson Corporation, merely come to obtain the fair and reasonable payment for our goods. What? We traveled to this region of space years ago uh -huh. to sell the useless Ultron device to the Ootwig. Okay. We knew even then of the weapon on the surface below us. This was to be our price. Really? But the Ootwing used a clever ploy to cheat us. I had clever? convinced the morose Ootwing fools that the Ultron was the answer to all of their pitiful They dreams. don't seem that clever. Powers 
The Proctor's wine. Will it give us the powers we crave? I assured them that, yes, the Ultron would give them the second sight. The Ultron would allow them to see into the past and the future. The Ultron would slowly imbue each of them with unique secret powers of great significance. Well, apparently the it Ultron did. The Ultron would ensure that their race's huge potential for greatness would be fulfilled. Yeah. Then, then a mistake was made. Uh-huh. Enough foolishness. We will take the precursor device from the surface and then leave. Thereafter, I may see fit to bequeath the entire planet to you, Captain, for your invaluable services in the past, provided you meet now. Um, I kind of want what's on there. It doesn't belong to you. It's roughly ours. Stand aside. Liar! It is we who are the genuine owners, not you, Captain. Those many years ago, when we offered the Ultron to the Ukwe, uh -huh. how they capered and laughed at their good fortune. Fools. Then they begged to hold the device just for a moment. To close the deal, I permitted this. A grievous mistake. The moment the High Prompter touched the Ultron, her body arched and her eyes rolled back in her head. Really? She began to babble meaningless phrases and howl like a beast. We had expected the Ultwig to fall for our cell, to buy the useless device, uh -huh. but never with such gusto. Ah, uh, gusto. Self doubt and lack of clear reason left them vulnerable to our every manipulation. But then, the Proctor's body relaxed, and her eyes slowly closed. When they reopened, her visual orbs shone with a wild and frightening light. This is all we could have dreamed of. Okay. And more, she intoned. And now, Drew, as to your price. I opened my mouth to speak. But before I could utter a word, the Proctor interrupted. Wait! The Ultron feeds your thoughts directly to me. Uh -huh. Do not speak. I okay. know that you desire. Really? What could I say? That exactly. the Ultron was a farce and could do no such thing? Yeah, probably not. I was stunned and silent. The Proctor continued. You Druze of the Crimson Corporation desire an object of great antiquity. Something of secret function and value. Uh -huh. Very well. It shall be done. And with that, we were led to a small vault. The Proctor ceremoniously opened the door of the vault okay. and explained that because we had been of such great service, uh -huh. all of the treasures within were now ours. Ooh. Inside, we found a hodgepodge of ancient and useless artifacts, a glowing rod, an absurd trident, and more such junk. Good thing I didn't I get those, huh? no way to salvage the disastrous situation at that time. But when I heard of you, your travels, and your foolish quest for freedom, get me. I realized that you could be the agent of our justice. And lo, it is so. You have heard our justification. It is valid and unassailable. Now, go, and do not return. Um, yeah, we'll be taking the vice no, now, sorry. you will not. We know your soul, young captain. It is no brighter than ours. We that was an accident. Greed. We revel in That it. was an accident. You are the dishonest one, hiding your shame and shadows. You fabricate justifications, rationales. In the end... We are just. I the didn't same. mean to. I hit the wrong button. Now, that's, that's a good you rationale. Stand in our way. You will not be moved. Therefore, we will add your true name to our ledger of hatred. Oh God. But first, die, child, die. I think. I think if they're gonna attack, what do you think? Okay, we'll take the main ship. Uh. Oh. Whoa, 
they can shoot really far. Okay, one down, four left, I think. I think there were five. Okay, don't get too close, don't get too close. Don't get there. Ooh, no. Okay, we can deflect them with our, with our own shots. Okay. That's good. Okay, three left. Three left. We can do this. Ah! Ooh, that. Oh, no, don't hit the plant. Don't hit the plant. Okay, that hurt. Oh. Fire, fire, fire. Okay, I think we have like two left, and so far we're not doing bad. We even lost 11 crew. Within the whole scheme of things with the Drew, it's just bad. There we go. One left, I think. Or not. Oh, hey, I got them all. Nice. Okay, let's get the planet service. That will buy some fuel, won't it? Okay, scan the planet. Uh, insignificant minerals. Ooh, an energy scan. And no biologicals. So let's just get that. Ooh, what's that? Report from the surface. We found a huge precursor device on the planet's surface. A giant black cylinder set within a simple defense grid. We have already neutralized the grid. Well, actually, Jenkins just drove through it by accident, but that seemed to do the, to do the work. <laughs> to work. The artifact is covered with precursor script, and although we can't translate all of the writing, it's pretty clear that it's a warning. Uh, repeating again and again, the energy output of this artifact is scary. It rivals our ship's engines at redline. Really? If I may be so bold, Captain, I would advise we do not experiment with this device until we are back at the starbase. We shall now return to the ship with the black cylinder device, carefully stowed in the cargo area. End of report. Okay. Let us get back to Earth and have it analyzed then. Ah, Captain, I'm glad you're back. Hi. Before we proceed, I wanted you to know... Uh-huh. A race of plant creatures called the Supox have arrived in your absence, Captain. They offered use of their ship designs and will supply you as many starship captains as we require. Nice. I, of course, accepted their offer immediately. Good. Also, a small contingent of Utwig has visited. After spending a few days setting up our fabricators to build their Jugger starships and providing us with a few capable commanders, they departed. Captain, if you continue to build such strong alliances, we will surely win our battle against the Urquan. Also, the Shofixti have returned. Yes! Their ships can now be built in our shipyards. With their vast numbers swelling our ranks, we won't have to worry about running out of able-bodied crew. And I'm sure their volunteers will reduce the cost for new crew. Oh, good, because I kind of screwed that up in that. Um, analyze this. The analysis reads as follows. Subject, Utwood Bomb Device. Uh-huh. Data, analysis has yield little information about this device, largely because of our technicians' unwillingness to open it or even remove the bomb from your ship. Okay. That aside, here's what we know so far. The device is correctly defined as a bomb, one of enormous destructive potential, but it's not of Utwig origin. Uh -huh. Nothing about it relates to the technology we see in the Jugger ship. We believe it to be of late precursor origin, though it somewhat resembles certain Chenjesu technology. Okay. Its original function? Probably a planeteering tool for dispersing unwanted moons. Okay. Summary? Unless there's a strong reason to do otherwise, do not activate this device. Leave it alone. Any experimentation should be conducted at least 12 astronomical units from this starbase, and preferably a bit further. Okay. That's the end of our scientist's report. Interesting. Um, we shall await your return, Captain. Neat. So we got like three new allies. That's cool. Da -da. Bow, 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 bow. 
Okay, we need to find our last ally. We used to be our ally, the Yehot. This is the Yehot's homeworld, so hopefully they are still our allies. Can be still our allies. Let's go give them a, a holler. Okay, come on. The Yehot. Come on, hi, Yehot. Okay. Uh, we can do this. Okay, that does not sound good. Maybe they just don't recognize me. Okay. Hi. It is a sure and a true thing that the alien interloper has now been warned not to approach Care Zeep Reap, the Queen's High Perch. Hi. Lest it be blasted without further warning. How are you doing? Um, yeah, uh, let's see. Uh, I am Mark from the Fish, we're British from Worlds. This commander demanding that you uphold you your duties human? as our allies. Have you not heard our words? You and your kind are slaves, just as we, but you humans have been confined within a shield of slaves. Yeah? To be found outside the self-same shield is surely your own doom? No. It is not a permitted thing for you to be a traveling through space, and now we must be conforming to our queen's oath to the Urk one. We must be getting about the business of killing you! No, 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 no. You don't, oh, okay, we probably screwed up a bit. We should probably... We're gonna have to leave. Okay, this is not a good idea. Run, run. Okay, come on. Quickly, 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 faster, faster, but... Ah, no! Oh, we're taking a little bit of damage. Okay, that didn't work. I'm gonna have to talk to someone. I think I convinced them to be in our, our allies, but I gotta talk to... Maybe not the homeworld. Maybe they're more understanding. What am I seeing on my view screen? Hi. It's none other than the flattened old face of our friend, the human. That's me. But, old ally, are you not knowing that we, the Yeha, are allied with the ur now? Yeah, I have heard and that now. And your presence outside the slave shield and in an armed starship are clear violations of your oath of fealty. Meh. Whatever shall we do? It just isn't a right thing to kill you, human, nope, but nope. as a loyal member of my clan, I must obey the wishes of our queen. No. Um... Let's see, uh... I am Mark Fry's name... Uh... Ooh! But if, you, if, if you, this is Yes, the fix you are born, yes! Be many yes! Changes, but we are a species long ways in the ways of this. Because they were close. You they were very close. You must be proving these words you say, Captain. Send the show fix to us as a way of proof. I've got a show fixity on board. Okay, I'm sending more. We're scanning the separation of a vessel from your fleet, Captain. And indeed, its configuration matches that of a show fixity scout vessel. This had better not be a trick, Captain. We are knowing the power of a glory device, and if you detonate the weapon near us, the price for you shall be dear. Very dear. The scout has docked, and we await the pilot's appearance at the airlock. Uh-huh. The atmosphere cycle is complete. The door slides open, and... It's true! The show fixed the other line! Yes! Look at that fart muzzle, those shining black eyes! It took a while to get, get some women for that guy, so come on. children have returned from oblivion. But now we are faced with the cruelest truth. We who have sacrificed our honor, we who have lain with the enemy, we are not worthy. We are nothing. We are less than nothing. But wait. Sorry. We're the We're the Yehot of the Starship Clan. We will not let us lie any longer. Darn you? And I speak these words. If our queen makes the dishonorable command, then it is the queen who has no honor. And yes. the dishonorable queen is no queen at all. Don't you? We, the Zeep Zeep, are the only clan who remember the true meaning of honor. We shall tear the queen from her throne. The 2,000 year reign of the Zeep Zeep queens is over. The revolution has begun. Okay, they're probably not going to be very useful due to the civil war and everything. Oops. But anyway, I'm sure I'm sure they'll win and I'm sure they'll be allies after the whole, you know, civil war. Okay. Okay, PyCon. This is where the Chinjesu are and the Murherm. Two of our former allies. They were put in a slave shield too, I believe. Which 
Eh. Eh. Maybe this one? Yes! Okay, let's go to their station. A uh, report from orbit. We have explored the interior of the starbase and found it abandoned. Computer records show that the Urquan put the starbase in orbit around this world after defeating the Chinjesu and the Murherm. From what we can determine, uh, the Chinjesu and the Murherm, who were assigned to this base, set up mindless robots to run the station and then somehow returned to the surface of the planet. Hand trained slave shield. Further analysis of the starbase's database show that the Shinjesu and Murherm were exploring since. Uh, since it seemed to create a hybrid race, half Murherm, half Tinjesu, the robots running the starbase are armed and will not permit us to set uh, scavenge materials, so we are returning to start the ship. End of transmission. Okay, well, I think... Oh wait, I can communicate with them, right? No, but I have... No, I don't want that. I want this. I can use the caster. Hi. We are the Chenjesu. Hi. We are the Mernham. How are you doing? We do not understand how you have penetrated the slave shield or why. Umgus, but stop. But in doing so, you have interrupted the process. Explain this intrusion. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, we are struggling to help against Urkon. Can you help us? We cannot be of any assistance now. We are in the middle of the process. I will explain. After we, Chen Jesu, and Mernherm were defeated by the Urquan, we chose to be encased in a single slave shield on this world. Okay. As soon as the Urquan departed, we began the process. We initiated a synthesis of our two species, our two cultures, one crystalline, the other Purely mechanical. Okay. This process, fueled only by the radiant energy of our sun, oh, hey. will eventually produce a new hybrid race. Well, that's cool. And when the process is complete, we will crack the Urquan slave shield and emerge from our chrysalis like a winged insect unleashed from its cocoon. Then we will be ready and capable to deal with the Urquan, their um. battle thralls, and their dreaded Samatra. Samatra? Wait, what? Uh, why can't you help us now? The complete synthetic hybridization of the Chen Jesu and the Murnherm species will require approximately 35 of your Earth years. This uh... extended duration is necessary Ooh. because our synthesis mechanisms are dependent exclusively on the light of our sun for energy. Um, actually, I might be able to speed that up a bit. Um, what you describe is theoretically possible. Actually, no, it's not. It would pose a great danger to us. I mean, it us. is possible, but it's actually the not theoretical. The process must be executed as planned, or it may fail catastrophically. We would be destroyed. Okay, but... Um... Though your ship's design is unfamiliar to us, we now understand that you are of human origin. Yep. And so we will share with you our reasons for accepting the status of Urquan slave. Okay. In 2135, our great alliance burned within the crucible of sentience. Though our fleets of armed starships held back the hierarchy's grotesque armada for many years. Uh huh. In the end, the Urquan unleashed a power upon us that was so overwhelming, we knew we would be annihilated if we did not submit. This unstoppable power, this ultimate weapon, was a huge starship, an unstoppable battle platform built by the precursors in the ancient past. Your vessel shares some similarities in design okay. to the Urquan's battle platform, which they call Samatra, Samatra. meaning great trophy. The Sumatra was many times larger than your ship and bore weapons and defensive systems I'm guessing I'm that have made to destroy it that. vulnerable to all of our technologies. It remains a mystery to us why the Urquan fought us for so long without using the Sumatra. But when they finally brought the ship into combat, the Sumatra incinerated our finest brood home vessels 
from ten times our own ship's weapon range. We had no choices beyond submission or devastation. Before the Urquan arrived to accept our surrender, we sent one last message to your people. A message suggesting that your species do as we Chanjesu and Mernherm plan to do. We would accept the Urquan's demands and become slaves okay. until such a time as we found a way to destroy or neutralize the Samatra. Okay, well, you know... Our wisdom is available. Detail your need. We have many needs. Um... We see, acquire Dinari. What do, you, what do you make of it? We know the Dinari only from legend, where they are described as the embodiment of evil and cruelty. Yeah, sounds about right. If ever there was a devil, Captain, it was the Dinari. However, if in fact the creature you possess is one of this ancient breed, its mental power may be useful to help confuse the Urquan. Okay, that could help. That could help. Um, yeah, I've got this huge bomb thing called from the, the device you speak of is a huge matter, antimatter bomb. If you had activated it, the weapon would have annihilated your ship huh. and everything else within 500 kilometers. Really? The destructive power of this weapon makes it suitable for the most important task you will ever undertake. The neutralization of the Samatra. Oh. The Urquan's nearly invincible battle platform. Okay, hey, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, yeah. You must find some way to destroy the Samatra. Probably the bomb. To do this, you will need a powerful weapon capable of destroying an entire planet. Got it. But that is not all. You will also require some way to distract the Urquan. To Got give it. you the opportunity to use the weapon. Probably should talk that beforehand, huh? Though your presence here is a painful intrusion, we will always provide advice whenever you request it, Captain. Thank you. Goodbye, once and future ally, human. Bye, buddy. When the process is complete and we emerge from our chrysalis, I shall tell your grandchildren of our conversation this day.